Hey y'all, this is Stephanie with a pinch of sweet. Today, we are going to be making three different types of garlic bread. So, um, I have like a whole pound of melted butter here because I've got to do all of this bread over here and I'm going to get it ready. So, I need to put in some minced garlic. So I'm going to put in garlic and they were pretty heaping because I needed to I needed to have that garlicky taste so um, all right so now we are going to add in our garlic powder not a lot Get it mixed through really, really good. Alright. Making sure there's no lumps from the from the garlic powder. And then I have Italian, I, I need parsley. That's what I need. I need to mix some parsley in here. Just a little bit. what it looks like with the parsley and the garlic and the garlic powder in it. So, I have my pans right here. So, let me move this and this out of the way and put the extra bread over here because I'll need it here in a minute. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to I need to put you down so you can see. We're going to baste this bread. And then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning on top. Um, now, I always do mine with melted butter. Um, every I, I used to take butter and slather the bread, pop it in the oven and bake it. And then uh, after it was all baked and everything like that, then I would put my cheese on top and then pop it in the oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. But I find out, found out that this way works a little bit easier. Hold on, the babies are going outside, so I'll be right back. Okay, all the grandbabies are outside. They're, they're playing. They needed ice and water and their jackets because it's chilly today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to um, <clears throat> we're going to put this on our bread. All right, so. And since I started melting the butter, and putting like my garlic powder and uh, garlic 
in my melted butter, everybody loves the garlic, my garlic bread this way. So, like I said, I did a couple, a heaping, heaping two and a half heaping tablespoons of garlic to a pound of butter. But, like I said, that's not going on all of, it's going to go on all of this bread. It's not going to be for one loaf. That's way too much butter. Alright, so I'm going to, we're going to get these spread. Then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of um, Italian seasoning on top. And then we're going to get these in our 9x13 pan and then finish the loaf. I should be able to, one, two, three, four, I have four loaves here. I should be able to do a loaf and a half in each 9x13 pan, and then they're going to go in the freezer. So. For the, for the three things that I want to do, I want to do a loaf and a half in each 9x13 pan. Oh, and then when I'm done, I'm going to show you, because uh, I totally forgot all about showing you guys what uh, my grandson's dad, when he came to pick him up, uh, Caden's dad, uh, brought me. It was his, his, his dad, his mother passed away, and John said that it was his grandma's. So, and I will show you. Wrong side. Oh, jeez. You don't want to put too much, um, because I did that. I put too much, um, Italian seasoning and it changed the taste of the garlic bread and it was horrible. All right, so let me get these. Continue doing this until we get it filled all the way up. Alright, so.
onto these because these are going to be used towards Thanksgiving when I get ready to um, my daughter because we had bought a stovetop stuffing for Thanksgiving and uh, she didn't like it they changed it so um, she wants me to make homemade stuffing. I'm like, every time I've made homemade stuffing, you wouldn't eat it. You wouldn't even try it. She's like, well, I'm willing to try it. So, we'll see. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, I'm going to finish up this uh, and do another half a loaf. And then I will be right back. Okay. So now, what I want to happen, and what is actually going to happen, are going to be two different things. <laughs> okay, I was only able to get a full loaf in a 9 by 13 pan. So, what I'm going to do, is this one sliced? No, this one is not sliced. Okay, I have three other ones that are sliced. Uh, we're going to do cheesy garlic bread. So, I will be right back. Let me get this. Well, no. Let me get this. Cover it up. show you guys what my daughter got me for my birthday she got me one of these um it's a smart watch um but it's also it's also like a, a fitbit too um it does your blood pressure um it does when you're sleeping it tells you when you're in um rem uh and uh it does your uh, your oxygen, your blood pressure, it does all that. Uh, you can also set it up that when you're drinking water, uh, when you're supposed to drink your next uh, eight ounces or whatever, uh, if you're supposed to have a certain amount of water, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's really cool. So she got me that for my birthday. I'm 55. And I feel it. <laughs> okay, so this is regular garlic bread. No cheese. All right, six twenty four. All right. Next one we're going to do, we are going to do with cheese. So let me get this down here. It's out of my way. Back, back over here. And next loop. Where did I put it? Oh, I see it. All right. These are going to be cheesy garlic bread. My grandkids love these. I make these, I can't keep them in the house because they go through them like water. Well, there's not enough room. 
with that anymore. So we're going to set that aside. these covered in our butter. Same butter sauce. I have plenty of butter so I will probably need to melt some more. But I want to see how far I can push this before I have to melt more butter. But I, I don't think I will need to do a whole pound. I may only need to do like maybe two sticks. Make sure you guys can see me that I'm not blocking you. trying to be careful because some of the butter is dripping onto the other ones and I don't want them too too buttery or too greasy. up and we're going to transfer it so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to transfer it to a pan. Ah, I forgot to put the uh, cheese on them. Right. Mm. That's kind of, I'll have to 
just set it there for right now. Let me, I, my hands are too greasy. Let me wash them real quick. So, Michael <laughs> has been bragging about my Cinnabon bread at work. So I made some so he could take some into work. He sent me a text. At 8.30. It's half gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow. So we're going to put just a little bit on each piece. Love cheesy garlic bread. But they don't like it when it's too cheesy. See, my daughter, she loves a lot of cheese. We don't. <laughs> but when she's the one cooking, we have to deal with it. But on the days that I'm cooking, I skip. piece of garlic stuck to me. <laughs> Alright, so I'll finish these up. Put some more cheese on those ones there as soon as I get these ones done. So I'm going to get these with some uh, butter and get them all cheesed up and I will be right back. Okay, I'm finishing up the cheesy garlic bread. Now, um, if you want to take this up another notch, what you can do is you can make yourself some homemade sloppy joes, heat these up in the uh, oven. Make yourself some sloppy joes on top of the stove and then take a scoop and just put a scoop on top of the cheesy garlic bread and eat an open-faced uh, garlic bread sloppy joe. Mm. You'll never go back. My grandkids um, well, I can't say all of them because some of them have issues with texture. Um, mainly Isabella and um, Alex. They have an issue with texture when it comes to certain types of meat. And I've noticed that they don't like gr um, if the ground beef is not 
like melt in your mouth which I can do it that way it's just cooking it a little longer um, but if they could taste the ground beef or uh, it's like chewy or whatever uh, they won't eat it they don't like hamburgers at all at all um, so but it could like I said um, the other day um, it could be that they're just not in their taste buds yet. So, um, we're going to, I'm going to get this together and, in, and set aside. And then we're going to do the last one. And I will be right back. Alright. Now, the last one. I put the other ones in the freezer. And I had made some uh, muffins. I made some chocolate chip and some blueberry and birthday cake. Um, I pulled those out so that way we can have that for um, breakfast this week with eggs and, and some bacon. Okay, sorry about that. I doubled up on the pan <laughs> uh -huh, that I had the cheesy garlic bread in. So, what I did with that was I had to go and, and get it. And Now, this is going to be a little bit different. We are going to do a pizza cheesy garlic bread. But what we're going to do is we're go it's going to be done like garlic bread, except we're going to do the butter first, then the pepperoni, then the cheese, then we're going to sprinkle the uh, Italian dress or Italian seasoning on top. So let's get this bread together. Still the same way. You know, you melt your butter and then add your garlic and your garlic powder and a little bit of parsley. And to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. And yes, you can. I want to make it. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday. I have a surprise for you guys. Michael is going to show us how he makes his um, his scramble, and then all I do is I just scramble up the eggs and add it to it, and that's how I make my breakfast bombs. So that's what you're going to see. Uh, Monday, because Friday, the garlic bread three different ways is going up.
I should have done a stick and a half of butter. But we'll make it work. What little bit of butter we got. I don't want to use any more. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put down our garlic bread. Er, wow. <laughs> Come on. Let me wash my hands because I just killed a gnat. Be right back. All right, now we're gonna put our um, pepperoni on each slice. Or on each, yeah, each slice of bread. And then what you'll do is you'll put your um, you'll put your um, cheese on top of this, and then you'll um, you can bake them in the oven. And then what you'll do is you'll take a marinara sauce or a pizza sauce, either one, and you'll heat it up, and they can use that to dip their garlic bread in their garlic pizza uh, bread in. So, but my kids love this. So, I'm definitely going to have to make some of this so when Caden comes back home for his birthday party, he can take some home with him. I'll have to make him some of these. And I'll have to make him some uh, chocolate chip muffins and some chocolate chip uh, pancakes. Sheep pan pancakes. He loves the sheep pan pancakes. These are easy to make. They're kid friendly. I don't know a kid that doesn't like garlic bread. <laughs> but, um, and I finished up the last of that. So, get this in the garbage and, well, no, I'll stick it in this one. No, because I can put that in that. This. Ignore me, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay. I 
do this all the time. I'm always trying to figure out stuff. And then I, I get in my head and then I'm like, um, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's do it this way. All right. Um, I'm going to wash my hands because I am dealing with meat and I do not want to put my hands in cheese after dealing with meat. After this, I got some uh, fresh pineapple. I need to cut up and get in the f um, put half in the refrigerator and the other half in the freezer because with summertime rolling around and it's starting to get hot now, um, I make the kids uh, dull whip. And it's real easy. All it is is frozen strawberries, um, vanilla ice cream, they're not frozen strawberries, I'm sorry. Frozen pineapple, pineapple juice, and frozen uh, vanilla ice cream. And I always get the Briars No Sugar added. And I make them Dole Whip, and they love it. Something's telling me to do put them put them in here and then put the cheese on because the cheese is going to come off the minute I try to move them, which is what is exactly what it's trying to do. So let's get them in here, and then once you freeze it, some cheese might fall off, but it's not all going to fall off. Is what I'm saying. I'll use this hand to touch the meat and everything with, and then this hand for the cheese. up so that way you can see what I'm doing. Now see, for my daughter, this won't be enough cheese. <laughs> but these are babies. They don't need to be having that much cheese and getting them all bound up. Okay. And then, I still have another loaf over here, but I don't have any more room. Well, I have room in my freezer, but um, 
what I might do is I might turn that into an overnight uh, French toast bake. Um, you can put it in the refrigerator overnight or what you can do is you can put it in your freezer and then when you're, you don't have to bake it. You just put it in, you let it soak up, you know, all the uh, eggs and everything like that. And then, uh, and then put it in your freezer. And then when you're ready for it for breakfast, you have unexpected company that comes and spends the night or something, or comes to visit and you're racking your brain like what are you going to feed them in the morning for breakfast that's it overnight French toast and I think I showed you guys how to make that because I made it for my mom for Mother's Day I have a lot of, of, of videos so I'd have to check to make sure that I showed you guys how to make that. These will go in the freezer. Sometimes it takes me a while to save up all the ends, and then what I do is I sit them, I put them on. A cookie sheet like this and then I put them in the oven on 200 and dry them out. not going to get every piece of bread done. So we'll do what we can do. four pieces of bread that don't have and it, I should have done an extra I should have done a half a stick but that's okay uh, there'll be some ones that won't have uh, the garlic on it the garlic butter that's okay because they're going to get a dipping sauce anyway and I did it again I forgot to sprinkle <laughs> the uh, cheese with the Italian seasoning so what you can do is when you take them out of the freezer and you put them on a tray, sprinkle it with a little bit of Italian seasoning, the cheese. That's it. So, since I didn't do it to the other ones, I'm not going to do it to these ones. But, um, when I put them in the, on a tray to put them in the oven so that, uh, for a quick lunch, for the kids because uh, what they'll do is they'll have this and they'll have a salad they love salads love salads 
Um, they like regular salads. Now, like macaroni salad, linguine salad, no. They'll look at you like, what is this? What, 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 is, what is this? You want, me, you want me to eat this? No, we're not going to. Love you. <sighs> I mean, I know kids are picky. But these kids are picky. Over everything. But, like I said, they're all coming into their taste buds. There's a lot of things that they wouldn't eat before that they are eating now. Um, they did not like pineapple. They like it now. They did not like blueberries. They like it now. So, I mean, it's just being patient. Patient and gradually letting them try something. Um, now, May May and Izzy, they love butternut squash. If you, if you mash it and put a little bit of butter and salt on it, because when I used to, uh, I think I told you guys before that when I used to make their baby food, um, that's what I did. A little bit of butter and an itty bitty, I mean itty bitty pinch of salt. And the smallest little, the smallest little bit of butter that they got a hint of the taste of butter. Um, because uh, it had a sweet taste to it anyway. So, um, I did that for them. And they loved it. Okay, that's good. Alright, let me wash my hands. Because again, I was dealing with meat, and I will be right back. these I need a drink <sighs> All right, let me get these in here These with cheese. See if that's my daughter or Genevieve. <coughs> so. Okay. My daughter wants. 
wants me to make the kids peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then uh, Ohio's best peach. What type of smoker does Mike have? I will have to let you know when he comes home from work. do my best to try and answer each and every one of you because if it wasn't for you guys I would not be on here oh, oh I forgot to tell my daughter yeah I was making <laughs> all right let me push these down and get these on here their lunch. Let me let her know. Yes, I will make them just jelly or peanut butter and jelly. Because I know Alex likes jelly and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Every time you make Alex a sandwich. He'll he, he always tells you, I want jelly, one jelly, and one peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Send it. Alright. Alright. So. I have. Uh, I have new subscribers. So, I'm going to let you know who they are here in a second. Alex likes strawberry jelly because she we use it on Isabella because she loves strawberry jelly took the kids' toys outside and we have some little kids in the area that you can't leave their kids outside leave their toys outside because they'll think it's a free for all and just take it. So cheesy pizza. Okay, I wanted to let you guys know that I have two new subscribers. So, uh, welcome to A Pinch of Sleep, uh, Kate's Caring Corner, and 
Broken Hearts Ministry. So, welcome to A Pinch of Sweet. And I'm getting ready to fix my grandbabies some lunch. They're outside playing. So, the girls will eat grape. Alex will eat one jelly sandwich and one peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then they're going to get a bag of potato chips and a Kool-Aid jammer because they're having a good time and they don't want to come in the house. And you can't blame them. <laughs> because it is nice outside today. Two knives here, one for peanut butter, one for jelly. Because I can't. Mm -hmm. mm, I did that one time. Mm -mm. Because all of them. All of them. Because I got jelly. Now, see, this. Tell me, how does this make any sense? You have. Um, jelly you're making them a jelly sandwich okay and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but don't get the peanut butter don't let them see you get the peanut butter on the jelly Because if they see you get the peanut butter on the jelly, they ain't eating it. I need to cut this up so it makes it easier to spread. There we go. And the sandwiches have to be cut into triangles. my sharp knife to do that. But, but that, that doesn't make any sense because you're going to turn around you're going to turn around and put the jelly on top of the peanut butter. But if they see jelly on that knife when you go to spread the peanut butter Today is sheets and blankets day, so we've got all the sheets and blankets. Tomorrow is the bathrooms. On the weekends, is I usually do my um, my kitchen on the weekends, but I cleaned my stove today because I do a lot of uh, cooking my. It's a little too much. I do um, a lot of uh, cooking my bacon in the oven and it splatters. So I clean my oven when I know I'm doing baking in the oven. I clean my I clean my oven um, once a week, especially if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, when I do my uh, my breakfast segments with you guys and. Um, so, because tomorrow we're going to be doing uh, the uh, breakfast scramble. Let me get this in the fridge and this in the sink. Wash my hands real quick. And then put the peanut butter together and then cut the sandwiches. So they're 
they're going to get their sandwiches, and then they're going to get their Kool-Aid jammers and their potato chips, and then they'll be happy. All right. Is up. All right, so let me get the girls' sandwiches. cut his jelly first because if I cut his peanut butter and jelly what get this in the sink take them out their sandwiches and this is Stephanie with a pinch of sweet thank you all for coming in and hanging out with me and I will see you all later bye oh no I needed to show you something so hold on a minute okay now I don't have a manual for this because like I was telling you, uh, this used to be John's dad's mother's. All right, how do you open this thing? brought me a pasta maker but it smells like diesel fuel it is really they must have kept it in the garage because it is really strong in diesel fuel you can smell it yeah there's like dog hair and cat hair in this so I don't know. And then there's this. A pasta drying rack. So. But it's been kept in the garage. So how there's. I mean. I don't know. It looks like dog hair and cat hair. I don't know. If I can't get it cleaned up really good. It's going to go in the trash. And I'll, and I'll get one. from uh, I'll get one from Amazon or get one of those ones that hooks to my KitchenAid so but I wanted to show you guys what I got it doesn't come with a manual I don't even know what what type it is it does it has no name on it it has no nothing so um, I think that's what I'm going to do I think I'm just going to get 
I'm not even going to bother with this. And get a new one. Because there's no manual, there's dog hair and all kinds of stuff in it. And, and no. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. But I don't know if she had pets and, you know, sometimes cats get up on the counter and rub up against things and stuff like that. So, um, I would prefer to have something sanitary. This ain't it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, I do appreciate the fact that he thought of me. So, um, again, this is Stephanie with Large Family Diabetic Cooking and I will see you all later. Bye.